Hey guys, it's Victoria. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have quite a bit going on. I'm going to be unboxing some nail stuff that I got. I'm gonna be doing the Femi Beauty Lazy Girl method. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into the unboxing first. I did a little bit of unnecessary shopping. Um, <laughs> so I figured I would share everything that I got with you. So first thing I got is the Makar Nail Dehydrator and Primer Kit. I was running out of my Model 1's dehydrator and my Young Nails Primer, so decided to try something new and see if I like it better. Ooh, definitely love the packaging. It's really pretty and sleek. And I like how girly it is too, <laughs> with the pink and the gray. They're pretty big bottles too. That is a nice change from my Young Nails Primer which is this big, so that is a very nice size difference. These are what I'll be using once I start my nails to prep and prime. Something else that came in the mail today are the products that I bought from Ellen Nailed It. The box is pretty glittery. So I had it upside down. <laughs> Even the top is pretty glittery too, but I see glitter on the tape right here of the opening. I really hope nothing busted. All right, so this is what it's looking like. I get a thank you card. I get some cute stickers, so bandages, cotton candy, compass, directions. It's very pretty, but I have my trash can ready. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna move this to the side and pull stuff out. Some of the first things I got were some luxury brand stickers. These are gold, Louis Vuitton. And I also got some gold Versace. Fancy. I got this really pretty chrome powder. It's the shade Stargazing. The picture on her website looked so beautiful. I have some foils. These are really fancy. I always see designs with brands like this and I'm super excited to do a set. Won't be using it today. When I do, I'll be excited. <laughs> These are called rubber pens. I got them so I can smooth down foils and they're super pretty, so I'm excited for that. And I'm sure there's other uses for it as well. I got some really pretty glitter, so I'm just gonna pull them out one by one. Pixie dust. I found the one that was open. Coco was the open one. Okay, we have Coco. This is Chameleon. Dreamy. Unicorn fart. <laughs> caramel. Do you guys say caramel or caramel? I say caramel. All right, so like I said earlier, I'm gonna be doing the Femi Beauty method, which used to be the Lazy Girl method, but she recently changed the name so that the credit goes to her, which I totally agree with. I've been a follower of Femi Beauty since before she started her Lazy Girl method and I've watched it kind of like evolve to what it is today and I still have never tried it before so I'm super excited to today. If you don't know what the Femi Beauty method is, it is when you take a full cover tip like this and it's similar to dual forms in the way that you apply the product in here. You place it on your nail. In her method, you would press it on, leave the nail on there and you have a super smooth top surface. It kind of combines the Kiara Sky Jelly Tip slash the Apray method with dual forms. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that out. I'm gonna start off by prepping. My nails are already roughed up from removing my old set, so I'm just gonna move into dehydrator and primer. I did my cuticles as well while I removed my old set. Starting off with the dehydrator. Whoa, it smells like a childhood scent. It kind of smells like those lip glosses I used to have as a kid. It kind of smells like the watermelon one. I like that it doesn't stink. One thing I'm noticing is it doesn't make my nails super ashy. It does dry them out. Moving on to primer. Ooh, okay. That one just smells like a nail primer. I anticipated that it wasn't gonna stink and I took a really deep sniff. <laughs> The smell definitely hit me. I'm hoping that this primer set helps me not have lifting. I'm gonna do the rest of my prepping off camera, which is pretty much just base coat. Um, so the Femi Beauty method is similar to the 
Kiara Sky jelly tip method and a press method so I'm gonna go ahead and use my Kiara Sky light that has three open entry areas so that I can easily slide my finger under before I start I'm gonna go ahead and take my drill and etch up the inside of these put some scratches in it so that the poly gel adheres better I don't know if I still have to do that for the lazy girl method but I'm just going to just to be safe I mean the Femi Beauty method and now I have this marshmallow blue poly gel from the Macar and Emily Susanna collaboration kit. I'm gonna be doing a pretty simple design and dressing it up with nail art, just because this is my first time ever doing this method. I'm curious if it's as easy as Femi makes it look. I have a brush and some alcohol to the side. I'm gonna start pressing this from side to side, filling up the entire thing. I just need to make sure I get these sides. I have my lamp ready. That looks pretty good. The side walls are pretty filled up. I do see a little bit squeezing out right there. That's probably that's user error though. Fixing up the sides. Alright, it's on there. I'm gonna show you guys up nice and close so you guys can see the mistakes I've made. I'm gonna cure it and then show you guys some more. Here's the nail. It's not fully cured. Once I'm done doing the application, I'm gonna put this in my big lamp. All the nails so they can fully cure, but so far it's feeling nice and sturdy has a beautiful apex <laughs> that I didn't have to make. All right, let's do it again. I'm going to try not to thin out the bottom so much to where I get this little hole right there. I'm still missing spots. I can't spread it anymore, so I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of product. One thing I will say is I always see Femi Beauty using like nail holder stand. That definitely seems like a better way of doing this than holding it because it's so sticky. Let's put it on straight on instead of like an angle. I'm gonna press until I see it reach the top of my nail. Let's make it straight, fix it up. Okay, so here's what we're looking like for the two that I have done. For my middle finger, I'm gonna do white. I'm using this brand because their white is more of a milky white than a bright true white. This one's a bit stickier too, so I'm also gonna keep that in mind. already though it's spreading a lot easier the blue is definitely very stiff so i'm having an easier time with the runnier poly gel it's an observation that was definitely a lot quicker than the blue now i'm hoping it doesn't squeeze out the sides more though Ugh, it's giving me a hard time All right, and I'm gonna cure. I'm gonna go ahead and do my pinky one before my ring finger because I plan on using one of my new glitters. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up the solid colors.
Ooh, that fit perfect. Got a little speed bump right here. Okay. All right, so here's what they're looking like. They don't look like Femi Beauty did them. And there is definitely a learning curve to these. This is the glitter I'm gonna be using. This is Chameleon and it has a nice blue tint to it. So that's why I chose it. I love the color. I just do not love the seal on the packaging. <laughs> It's been a little messy but it's okay okay so i just have some base coat off to the side and i'm going to paint some in the well of the nail so that the glitter has something to stick to i'm gonna use a cuticle pusher it's beautiful okay so it's in the lamp i'm going to clean this up in the meantime I'm going to use some Beatles Clear, I'm trying to do a super thin layer of this clear, just enough to add strength and have a sticky layer for me to apply to the nail. Uh oh. So this usually fits onto my ring finger if I squish it, but because there's already product hardened into the nail, it's not really giving me any room to press it down and reach my sidewalls. Here, I'm gonna put it down normal right in the center and show you guys what my sidewalls look like. That's one, that's the other. So I'm going to have to do this whole glitter nail <sighs> again. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do this nail on a bigger tip. All right, so here's what the nails are looking like now. Like I said, I'm gonna show you guys up and close. You guys can see all of my mistakes. <laughs> this is the first nail I did. Okay, I'm going to cure these in my big lamp for 60 seconds just to make sure that everything is hardened properly. I wanna test how sturdy they feel. Yeah, they feel strong. They don't feel like they're halfway on. They feel very secure, like they're not just gonna pop off. I definitely do have some spillage on the sides, like right there. You guys can see it kind of spilled off to the side. So that can be done with filing. I'm sure if you didn't file that, you would get some breaking, but I'm gonna go ahead and use my e-file to clean up the edges. Of course, because everything is on the inside of the tip, the top is nice and smooth. So really all I have to do is my cuticle and maybe buff it and shape it and we are good to go. This is the drill bit I'll be using around my cuticle and I will be buffing it out with a sanding band. Really quick, I wanna say thank you guys for 700 subscribers. That is so crazy to me because of how recent I just started this channel but I appreciate every single one of you. Okay, so here's what the nails are looking like after being filed and shaped. Super cute so far. I am definitely going to cover up all of my little mistakes so where it's kind of see-through. Right there, definitely right here. I'm going to cover up with like gems or something. So I just pulled out some of my rhinestones. I don't have a rhinestone placement design in my head yet i'm just gonna kind of figure it out as i go but i'm gonna be doing my normal model ones nail art glue a layer of top coat I'll, as far as the femi beauty method i think it's great it's probably something that i'll do if i need like a really quick set i loved how fast it was i had a fun time doing these nails i definitely enjoyed not having to create an apex and do a bunch of filing that was beautiful <laughs> I would recommend everyone who does polydel to try this out and see like which method is better for you. I think for me, I like the traditional way better, but that is all personal preference. I really enjoyed doing these nails, they're super cute. All right, so this is what I'm working with. Got my cuticle oil. These are looking super cute. Definitely dressed them up quite a bit because of little mistakes that I made. I love, so fancy. I plan on doing quite a few sets 
within the next couple of days so that's why i'm only doing the one hand that is all that i have for you in this video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed make sure you like comment and subscribe and i hope to see you in the next one bye